God bless you, everybody. God bless you. Share this video wherever you are. Share this video wherever you are. Share it, share it, share it. Yesterday, I was, and the other day, I was talking about the issue of the running mate. And a lot of people called me all sorts of names, told me to go and sleep told me I didn't know what I was talking about. But now, as I'm getting into my house, someone just gave me a call and said, Prophet, you really hear from God and you are a man of God. The running mates have been taken to court because the choosing of the running mates were not done according to the confines of the law. This matter is beyond legal. It's beyond lawyers. It's beyond what you may think. Before a prophet can speak, a true prophet of God like myself, before I can speak, I hear the mind of God. Before I can say anything, and God always vindicates what I say. It has not been 24 hours since I spoke about the issue of the running mate. I said, PF have chosen a wrong running mate. And I say UPND has also chosen a wrong running bet. Listen to me, Zambia. I am a generational prophet and a national prophet. I don't just speak for the sake of speaking. This issue is not a physical issue. This is a spiritual issue and it has certain jurisdictions in the realm of the spirit. Despite in this matter, they will be able to provide the necessary 1,000 Supporters, but I want you to know something the spiritual implication of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. I'm waiting, I'm still waiting for those people yesterday that were insulting me, that were calling me all sorts of names. They were saying that you don't know what you're talking about, they were saying that you don't know anything. I'm still waiting for those people. My name is Ian Genesis, and I am the man carrying the Genesis mandate, demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now when I prophesy. I am not like that noisemaker you watch on Facebook all the time. When I prophesy, it means I have heard God. Whenever I prophesy, it means I have heard God. I can never come and put my reputation on the line on Facebook if I have not heard God. Now it is breaking news everywhere. All the news platforms now are talking about it. That they have taken them to court. Lawyers have petitioned. They have taken all the running mates to court. Lawyers are seeking. This is the statement. Let me read the statement for you. The Legal Resources Foundations has petitioned the Constitutional Court to declare running mate, uh, nominations of the running mate to presidential can candidates long and void for failing to adhere to constitutional demands. You, you, you need to understand, Zambia has not yet realized that I am a mandate. The statement is there. Is somebody saying you are a liar? How can I be a liar when, when, when they have petitioned? How can I be a liar when they have petitioned? Yesterday you were insulting me. Yesterday you were calling me all sorts of names. Yesterday you were saying I don't hear from God. Ladies and gentlemen, Zambia needs to get to a place where they understand the voice of God. Where they understand people that are being used by God. They need to understand that. Zambia needs to understand that. I can never come to, to Facebook. I, it's not one running mate that they have petitioned. It's all the running mates. And when, when I said all the running mates have, have been chosen wrongly, people began to say that, Prophet, how can you say all the running mates? You needed to choose one. No, that is not what God was saying. God was saying all the running mates. He was not saying one. He was saying all the running mates are wrong. And today, the matter is being brought before the Constitutional Court. Ah, it, has been, it has been taken to the Constitutional Court. And listen to this petition. In the petition filed this afternoon and drawn by Simeza, Sangwa, and Associates. These are Constitutional, constitutional Court lawyers. Now, how did I know that the choosing of the running mates were wrong if God did not speak to me? Zambia, you need to wake up. 
And this, these are some of the signals that God is giving you that God is still speaking. Be very careful when you listen to prophets that only tell you what you want to hear. Be very careful when you, when you only want to hear men of God that tell you want to, what you want to hear. I am a man of God. I cannot come on Facebook and put my integrity on the line if I am not hearing God. God has vindicated me. Within 24 hours, God has vindicated me. God has vindicated Within 24 hours, God has vindicated me. I told you that Professor Kandulua was a wrong candidate. I told you Nalumango was a wrong candidate. But you said I needed to pick one. Your problem was that I needed to pick one. No. I did not need to pick one. God was saying all of them were chosen wrongly. That's what God said. Now, you can, read it, you can read it on Zambia Watchdog. You can read it on all platforms. They have taken the petition to court. Hear me and hear me well. Hear me and hear me well. Hear me and hear me well. Zambia, whenever I come to deliver God's message, whenever I come to deliver God's message, it means God has sent me. I can never come to Facebook and release a message if God have not sent me. Never. Never. I can never come on Facebook. I can never. There are people, of course, there are people who claim that, hey, you never said anything. You never. I said all the candidates are wrong. That's what I said. No matter how you want to interpret it, the prophet speaks in parables. The prophetic speaks in, in parables. The prophetic. You need to understand. The prophetic is not what you go and learn in school. The prophetic is not what you go and learn in school. The prophetic is the mind of God. And in order for you to understand the mind of God, you have to listen to the voice of the Spirit of God. John Sangwa wants all the running mates to be disqualified. You, you, you understand? They're, they're always, whenever I come, I come and prophesy, there will be always people that we claim I did not say it. I say, go and rewatch yesterday's broadcast. Go and rewatch when I talked about Kandulu. Go and rewatch. And a lot of people called me after yes, yesterday's broadcast. They say, man of God, now what are you talking about? You said Lungu chose the wrong candidate. You said uh, uh, HH chose the wrong candidate. What is happening? What is happening? And I said to you people, the Lord, the, the Lord always vindicates his own. The Lord always vindicates. No, it, listen, this petition, the reason why they have even taken it to where they have taken it is because for you to know that Ian Genesis is a man of God. That is why God has done it like that. For you to know, for the nation of Zambia to know that I speak of the Lord. We must be very, very careful. I'm telling you. We, we must be very, very careful. You, we must be very, very careful. And I'm telling you, we must be very, very, very careful. We must be very, 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 very careful. Sometimes you will insult men of God, not knowing the repercussions of insulting men of God. Sometimes you will call a man that is speaking from God a false prophet. I am a prophet of Jehovah. My name is Ian Genesis and I am a prophet of Jehovah. Wait for my prophecy for 7th June. Wait for my prophecy for 7th June. And I stand before God. I am one of the few prophets who does not prophesy what people want to hear. There are people. Don't, there are people. Don't, don't even. Don't don't even don't even uh, don't even uh, what is it? Don't even respond to them. No matter how accurate I may prophesy, they will still be on this platform to argue. 
No matter how God will use me, they will still be on this platform to argue. Some people don't like me personally. Some people like witchcraft. Some people like satanism. Some people are agents of the devil. So there is no need for you to begin uh, to, to, to begin to argue with them. I see uh, me, me, Mr. Boniface is having a, a, a hard time replying to them. Don't even reply to them. Don't, don't even reply to them. Don't even reply to them. Because at the end of the day, no matter how accurate I may prophesy, they will still argue. Because some of them just like witchcraft. Some of them love satanism. Some of them love what is fake. They don't like the authenticity of God. They don't like a man of God that is speaking from God. They don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like a man that can come accurately release the voice of God. There are some people who think when I speak prophetically, God is not backing me. No. I am a man that sees in the future. I am a man that speaks in the future. I don't speak in the today. I speak in the future. And that is why because of what, what is going to happen between uh, the day of, 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 of filing in until June. That is why God said to me, the son, wait for June. Wait for June. There are some of you, God is just doing certain things to allow you to know that there are still men that can hear God. God is just doing certain things. To just make you know that there are men that can hear God in the nation of Zambia. Because we have there, there are people that have rubbished the voice of God. They have rubbished the voice of God in the nation of Zambia. And they say there are no prophets who can speak from the Lord in the nation of Zambia. But we are still there to hear God and we are still there to release the word of God. And I pray for everybody that believes in the prophetic. I pray for each and every man, each and every woman that understands the voice of God, that truly this is what God is saying. Those of you that understand the voice of God, I pray for you. May God come through for you. May God come through for your family. And I'm telling you, every now and then I'm going to be coming. 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 I'm going to be. Because God said to me, son, this is a political year and people need direction. This is a political year. Godwin, I salute you. I salute you too. I salute you too. I salute you too. The, the, when, you, when, when, when God is speaking through his man servant, he speaks what is not fashionable to speak. What others cannot say, that is what a man of God says. Because he is standing on the premise of God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord calls his countenance to shine upon you. And give you peace. All my followers, all my friends, I want you to know something. Some of you may be disappointed when I come online and begin to speak on certain things. But listen to me. I don't speak of my own accord. I speak as the Lord has given me utterance to speak. Sometimes when I say the things I say, it's very heavy. Sometimes when I say the things I say, it's very heavy to say them. But you people that follow this platform, you should understand that this is a prophet of God. This is a man of God. He does not say what we want to hear. He says what God is saying. This is one point that I want. I want this is the point I want to make before I go offline. Because there are some people that will discourage you and say, no, he's not a man of God. Because he's not saying, he's not speaking for the people. Or he's not doing that. No, my assignment is not to speak for the people. My assignment is to speak the mind of God. My assignment is to speak the mind of God. My assignment is not to speak the mind of the people. My assignment is to speak the mind of God. So far, in, 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 in less than 24 hours, the Lord has vindicated his prophet. The Lord has vindicated his man servant in 24 hours. Because if God does not vindicate his man of God, his name will go into ridicule. If God does not vindicate his man of God, the name of God will go into disarray. 
That is why God is doing the things that he's doing. And God is proving a word in Zambia. Because there are a lot of people that have gone astray in Zambia hearing that there are no prophets in Zambia. There are a lot of people that have gone astray in Zambia hearing that God cannot use a Zambian prophet. There are a lot of people that have gone astray in Zambia hearing that no, you, prayer does not work. No, child of God, be careful. Be very, very careful. And in this season and in this time, don't find yourself insulting the man that God has sent. Don't go insulting the man that God has sent. Never. Never. I'm telling you. There are people who are saying, I should just go and preach the gospel. What, what am I doing? Am I not preaching the gospel now? Am I not preaching what I'm doing now? Am I not preaching the gospel? The kingdom of God is not a matter of talk. The kingdom of God is a demonstration of power. That is the kingdom of God. That's the kingdom of God. Until, until 12 August, I will not stop talking about politics. I'm telling you, this is an assignment. This is an assignment. Until 12 August, those of you that want to stop following our platform, stop. Those of you that want to hate me, you must hate me. But until 12 August, I'm not stopping to talk about politics because that is what God said I must talk about. And I called some of my partners who are around the world. I said to them, please, if, if you see me not responding to you, if you see me not talking to you and I'm just talking about politics, this is a very crucial year in the nation of Zambia. Until it is... These people don't even understand. These people don't even understand. The reason, the reason why this matter can even go to court is that they choose the right people. You need, you, need, you, need, you need to understand. You need to understand. You need to understand. You need to understand. Rexina, the reason why you, say, you are saying you don't know what to believe is because in one part, you believe in the anointing of God upon my life. In another part, you like listening to people. May the Lord bless you. I am on an assignment. I am on an assignment. The Lord has sent me on an assignment. And until God accomplishes his assignment, I will not stop. Until God accomplishes his assignment, I will not stop. For all those that remember that I was ridiculed, for all those that remember that I was, I was insulted, and you are on this platform, and you are saying, oh God is don't say prophet Ian is accurate. Say there is a God. God can never leave his man servant insulted and he does not respond. No. There is a God in heaven. 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 I'm telling you. There is a God in heaven. I'm telling you. Because it is not easy to come on Facebook and say, oh the, 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 the two uh, candidates that have been chosen are wrong. It, it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm telling you, it's not easy. No, someone is asking, so who is winning the election? I'm coming for that on 7th June. That is the life I would do on 7th June. I'll come and tell you without fear of contradiction who will win the 2021 general election. Because God has already shown it to me. God has shown it to me. God has shown it to me. And God has given me assignment already. So that one, don't even ask for now who's going to win. Because I'm not going to tell you who's going to win for now. There is already a matter that they have petitioned and it has gone before the court. That matter is going to finish. And on 7th June, that's when I'm coming by the authority of Jehovah to come and give you the mind of God. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. By the authority of Jehovah, I'm going to come. People are saying, the tireless general, God bless you, my daughter. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. It is people that, like you, a prophet, you even mentioned the names of the running mate HH was supposed to choose. Yes, I, I, I even mentioned. I even mentioned. 
Somebody saying, prophet, so where are you standing? Where I'm standing is releasing the mind of God. When they chose the running mates, I came and released the mind of God. I'm not standing anywhere. I'm standing where I've already stood. Where I've been standing from the beginning, that's where I'm standing. That's where I'm standing. Where I have been standing from the beginning. The lawyers have already petitioned. They are saying all the running mates. They are not saying one. They are not saying two. They are saying all. They are not saying one. They are saying all the running mates. And I came and I said all the two running mates. All the two running mates. It's not about whether the petition is right or wrong. It's about you remembering that God can speak. It's about you remembering that God can talk. It has, it's about you knowing that when, when a man of God comes online, he's not coming for popularity. It's about you knowing that when a man of God comes online, he's not coming for fame. He's coming because God has sent him to deliver a message. And this is what you have to know. Some, some people are still asking which one has been taken. All of them. All the running mates. All of them. Not one. All have been taken. All the running mates. All of them. And when I was saying all the running mates that were chosen from PF and UPND, people are saying, how can you say all of them? How can you say, you need to choose one if you're a true man of God? No! That is not what God is saying. That's not what God is saying. I pray for you. I pray for the finger of God over the nation of Zambia. I pray for the finger of God. I'm telling you. I pray for all the finger of God. In the nation of Zambia, in this election, I pray for the hand of God. I pray for the finger of God. I pray for the finger of God. Apostle Godwin said, my brother, leave the prophetic for the election for fathers because at the end of... My, my brother, my brother, you are a very, very small person in the prophetic. You are, you are a very, very small person. If you, if you have watched any of my prophetic videos, you will understand that there is no prophecy I've ever missed. If you, you, are, you are very tiny in the prophetic. I can tell you that. I have prophesied in 39 countries unstoppably. I have walked into nations by the power of God. As a matter of fact, my age should not deceive you. I'm telling you, it should never ever. You are a man of God, but you are, you are responding so childishly because you don't understand that God uses the foolish things of the world to humble the proud. I'm telling you. So you are, you are, you, for you to say that I am a young person, I should leave it for fathers, you don't, you, you don't have the mind of God. And I pity your members. I pity the people that follow your church. I pity them. I, I pity your members. I'm telling you. I'm not a small prophet. If you think I am a, pro, a small prophet, I'm a very, very big prophet. I prophesy on matters that other people don't prophesy. I still stand on record. I am one of the few prophets that prophesied that Joe Biden was going to win American election. When all your fathers, your big prophets, the one you call big prophets, when they prophesied that Trump was going to win, I was... One of the few that say that uh, Biden was going to win. So you, you cannot underestimate the grace of God upon my life. You cannot do that. And as a man of God, you cannot do it. You need to repent. Because the Bible says in the book of John chapter 2, verse, verse 28, the Bible says the spirit of God. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. So you are a man of God. You need to repent. You are a man of God. And I rebuke you. That, that the spirit of the devil, I rebuke you. You are a man of God, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are an antichrist and I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You cannot limit the voice of God. You cannot decide whom God can use to speak. You can't. God can use anybody to speak. God can use anybody to speak. God can use anybody to speak and I'm telling you. You're an antichrist. You're not a man of God. You're not a man of God. And I stand here. You're not a man of God. You're not a man of God. You see? That's why 
You are mentioning prophet here one. I, I knew it. You are already a witch. I knew it. You like witchcraft. That, that, that's your... That, you like witch... I, I knew it. There is no way you can be coming out like that if you are one of the chosen of the Lord. You like witchcraft. You love witchcraft. You are an antichrist. How can you be exalting a man that says that there is no God? That's the man you are exalting. You are a witch. That's who you are. You're a witch. And I pity your members. You have exposed yourself. You have, you have just exposed yourself right now. You have exposed yourself. I pray for all our followers. Please, during this time of election, do not allow anybody to tell you that prophet does not know what he's doing because I know what I'm doing. During this time of election, do not allow anybody to mislead you. No matter how you, you belong to one political party or the other, you may think Papa is not doing well by speaking this. No, I'm speaking on behalf of the Lord. And if the Lord sent me, the Lord will vindicate. Someone is saying, do not fight prophet in Genesis. You fight him, you fight God himself. And that is true. Flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. The Holy Spirit revealed it to you. Those that fight me, God fights them back. I'm a servant of God, a servant of Jehovah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Receive favor wherever you are. Receive breakthrough wherever you are. Receive testimony wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus. As God has vindicated his word, I decree and I declare. In the mighty name of Jesus. As God has vindicated his word, I decree and I declare. Those of you that are watching me, remember what I said yesterday. I said, some of you, I am holding your miracle. Some of you, I'm holding your job. Some of you, I'm holding your deliverance. Some of you, I'm holding what belongs to you. I'm holding what belongs to you. I'm holding what, some of you, I'm holding what belongs to you. I'm holding what belongs to you. I want to decree and I want to declare over your life, that whatever that God has invested upon my life that is supposed to be yours in the name of Jesus, I release it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I release it for you in the mighty name. This is your time. This is your season that you are going to be exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I decree and I declare the God that I serve, the God of evidence, the God that silences argument. I decree and I declare on this platform, may this God come through for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May this God come through for your family. May this God come through for what concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy unto you, wherever it is that you are, in the name of Jesus, whatever that was not working for you, if I be a man of of God, Makindo Sukata Parando Oskeda, in the name of Jesus, may it begin to come through for you in the name of Jesus. Those of you in the afternoon, God was speaking to me about restoration. And I know there are some of you, you did not watch the video about restoration. I want to decree and I want to declare, let there be restoration in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be restoration in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. When you see the comments, most of the people that are fighting me are men of God. Why are they fighting me? They can't see as I see. They can't hear as I hear. They can't prophesy as I professor that's the reason why they are fighting they are fighting because god is not using them they 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 they, they, they wish that god used them the way he's using me but they don't understand the covenant that i have with god they don't understand the sacrifices that i make with god sometimes i don't sleep in my bed sometimes i sleep in the mountain sometimes i sleep anywhere so those you will find it every time i'm prophesying it is men of god that come to fight it's men of God. It's not ordinary people. It's men of God because they don't understand that there can be a move like this in the nation of Zambia. May you be part of the move in the name of Jesus. May you be part of what God is doing in the name of Jesus. What God is doing in our ministry, I decree and I declare. 
Listen to me. Zambians, people are traveling from Botswana, from South Africa, from Namibia. They are coming to Zambia. It is only Zambians that have not recognized what God is doing in their own nation. Because the Bible says um, uh, uh, a prophet is without honor but in his own land. But may God open your eyes. You that is watching me, may God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. May God open. Foreigners cannot enter Zambia and be blessed while the Zambians are not getting blessed. If you are a Zambian and you are watching me, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. May God open your eyes. May God open your eyes to see what God is doing in this nation. May God open your eyes to see what God is doing in this time. May God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. May God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. May God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. May God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. May God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. May God open your eyes. Listen to me every every week we are receiving people from south africa we are receiving people from around the world and and i and i get grieved in my spirit to see that zambians are not are not partaking of this grace they are not partaking of this anointing my god may the lord begin to connect to the zambian people the remnants of this land the people that god the bible says and i will raise a prophet according to the book of deuteronomy 28 28 he said i will raise a prophet. I will raise a prophet among you that will speak on behalf of a nation. I decree and I declare. May you not be a Zambian that will miss the voice of God. May you not be a Zambian that will miss the voice of God. May you not be a Zambian on this video and miss your testimony because of what people are saying. Because of what you have heard from others. I decree and I declare. Right here as you are watching this video. May God turn your situation around. May God turn your situation around. May God turn your situation around. In the mighty name of Jesus. They have tried to discredit what God is doing in the nation of Zambia. But God is saying they will not succeed. Many will gather to try to destroy it. But they will not succeed. As the bird escapes the snare of the fowler. So we have escaped the snare of the wicked. We shall rise as a nation. We shall rise as a nation. I prophesy to the nation of Zambia. Zambia, hear ye the voice of God and obey. You will rise as a nation. 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 They want to introduce foreign gods. They want to introduce foreign powers. But you will rise as a nation. The nation of Zambia will rise. Pastors in Zambia will rise. You will rise. You will rise. You will rise. You will rise. Child of God, you will rise. You will rise in the name of Jesus. You will rise in the name of Jesus. You will rise in the name of Jesus. Every apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, every teacher in the nation of Zambia, the people that God have called, the people that have the genuine anointing of God, the people that God has visited in his power, I declare as an oracle, may you rise in this nation. May you rise in this nation. Let me tell you, Zambians, the deliverance of a nation comes by the prophetic. Whenever God wants to save a nation, he sends them a prophet. Whenever God wants to appear in a dispensation. He sends them a prophet. That is why God is sending you a prophet. Do not despise the words of the prophet. The Bible says, despise not the words of a prophet. For he that receives a prophet in the name of the prophet receives the prophet's reward. I decree and I declare, may you receive the prophet's reward in the land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name. The son of the living God. Amen. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis, and I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate, demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now. If you are within the nation of Zambia, and you are saying, man of God, how can I meet you? I want to come to your ministry. We are located at Caspard House Building in Chilenge, Chris Corner. We meet every Sunday at nine hours. Every Saturday, we post the directions of the church on our platform. And we also equally put a phone number that you can call. Do not be left out. Do not allow the enemy to discourage you from your time and your season. In Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his countenance to shine upon you and give you peace. 
My name is Prophet Ian Genesis. And I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate. And I approve this message. God bless you. In Jesus name. Shalom for now.